Добрый день всем к музыку канала Жиро. Что кулинарный канал Свиришка Виртуля, Шенден на Сасантре, Гриллиан, Тэп, Продуктуля, Шеламаня, Сара, Гиндал, Гаскалайте, Продуктуля, Сикурея, Свейка с Гинтере, Ир, Эна, Грилла, Мэстра, Сикурея, 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 Пусть Гран Барбекю Шоу, Кульминация Пусть Дети Стейк Шоу. Мана Дрога, Сикурея, 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 Ir dabar jisai parodys mūsų tokį vadinkimų pamoką, seminarą, kaip kepti, kodėl kepti, ką kepti. Už kelių minučių pradėsim tą jau mūsų programą, pagal kurią jūs čia visi susirinkot. Su einu aš pažįstamas kokia truput, nežinau, 15 gal metų. Tas tikom grill fiestoj, Estijos žymiausias turbūt grillio festivalis. Ir kažką, sakom, reikia padaryti Lietuvoje, kadangi Enas važinėja ir į Angliją, ir Kataro Šeikui, ir Australijoje, ir Amerikoje. Prieš porą savaičių darė 2000 žmonių Estijos prezidentui. Tai, kaip pasakyti, tikėsime, kad viskas bus kanu ir fainai. Toj prasidės mūsų programą. Ačiū visiems. Hello everybody, I am Anne from Estonia. And today we are doing a little like a barbecue show together with the barbecue training and everything. So we will start to cook meat straight in the charcoal, also in the Kamada chew grills, and we're using also Pro-Q smoker and, uh, and the kettle chews, which are uh, more for the salmon, and we're doing some dirty, dirty salad straight in the charcoal, and also later on uh, we're doing the dirty steak show uh, around 7 o'clock, so that's the main thing today. But uh, also we have here some uh, uh, products and the drinks, And uh, you have sir, also some beers, and uh, here is the pepper, I think a pepper company, yeah? Pepper Queen. Pepper Queen. So uh, everybody can join the party, and uh, I hope you can take some drinks as well, because Tarmo from Estonia is helping me to give you the drinks. But these drinks here, some of them I give free of charge as well for the, during the day, because I ask some questions and uh, some funny things, but uh, mostly if somebody wants from here, then everything is very cheap, because we took some nice beer from Estonia, and one beer is only two euro, and, uh, and other lemonades and stuff as well, and we have some sauces and all the seasonings what we're using, so everything is here, so... If you would like, today we're doing very special prices for you. And after that, of course, you can buy everything in future from Mindauga shop as well. They're already selling lots of stuff uh, what we are distributing. And uh, we are selling lots of stuff what he's distributing. So we're doing cooperation between two countries this way. And uh, it's working very well. Yeah. Mindauga is my friend already, I think, 15 years or something. And uh, now I'm first time in here. I'm second time actually in Gaunas because I used to be in Gaunas very long time ago when I was working for a meat factory in Estonia, a Rockware meat factory. Uh, and the Rockware was part of this group. There was the Gleipedes Maistas as well. And I did very long time one meat training in Gaunas in some kind of Gleipedes Maistas shop in shop, uh, butchery or something like this. So that was uh, quite a good fun. So I recognized Acropolis and some stuff here at some nightclub as well. I think the strip club was also very... <laughs> it, I recognized the name, it was very really good. Okay, so let's put this stuff in and then we can look all the rest of the things. So here is our charcoal uh, smoker. It's the Pro Q smoker. It's available also in the Mindauga shop here in Grilli LT. And this one is, is similar like a, like a Smoky Mountain for Weber, but it's a bit better because it's having uh, different uh, floors and, uh, and you can uh, put the extra floors or take them less. So it's working very well all together. So let's do this. And uh, I'm just thinking I will, I will put this meat in the middle rack. This is uh, Iberico pork, pork loin basically. Later on I will explain more about this also. Put this here and then in the top floor we will adding all these chili boppers. Chili bopper is basically, uh, is basically uh, red chili which is uh, with uh, goat cheese and we wrapped with uh, uh, cold smoked bacon. 
this is quite a big job to do it but uh, it's coming really nice result i really like these chili boppers they are like uh, you know very special stuff a little bit spicy but not that spicy so if you don't like chili then usually you still like this one during the cooking uh, this spiciness will change as well but this will coming very nice and brown little pieces and here in this smoker like that cooking straight uh, over the charcoal in about one meter high position you can do whatever you want actually we can do all the top breast uh, lamb and everything but at the moment of course uh, uh, we're doing just this uh, Iberico book and uh, chili popper because or less we will do in the Gamada too. But now, before that, I especially didn't put any wood yet because if I put wood earlier, then the wood is starting to burn. And this time when I placed all the stuff on the grill, it's already burnt or maybe too much burnt. So it's just losing the money. It's better to do it. You put all the meat or whatever food you have ready for the rack then it's all ready to go and then after that you're taking some chunks of food here i have a cherry and because it's quite a big grill so i put few pieces of cherry chunks and now these ones i put on the charcoal to make some nice smoke this is all very good charcoal it looks it looking nice it's my own charcoal we're producing it in latvia and uh, in Marimil factory, the grill of charcoal. And as you see, now is four chunks of the cherry are on the grill. And this one, I put straight here. But now I can see these food chunks are already burning. So the first mook is coming. That's why I was waiting until they start to burn. And now, even I don't need to close it, but I close the vent. I close the top vent and uh, I will look from here. This one I keep I just close it for the second because we want to make sure the smooth chunks which are in on the charcoal now we want to make sure we take the oxygen out and it will start to smoke. You see the smoke is coming already. So there is no fire anymore. And if it's no fire then it's good. Now we keep it just a little bit open because we want to do still quite slow and low around like 100 maybe 120 degrees but we still keep it a little bit open and uh, here also we can see already the temperature at the moment is like 75 but it's definitely increasing until 100 around and uh, we keep it like maybe a few millimeters open like one third of this vent is open so that way we're doing at the moment slow and low cooking over the charcoal it's a little bit different way than usual. I turn it that way, then we have all the doors here. So these doors are, if you want to check the meat, check the temperature, or this one is very good because we can mix the charcoal during the cooking, add some chips or whatever. So this grill is actually working very well this way because you can always use this. You take this open, you just uh, take the tongs and do with the charcoal a little bit this, you know just to mix them a little bit and again it's coming some extra smoke you don't need even add any chunks of food okay so now this one is uh, working this takes uh, more time because uh, Iberico book is in the lower position I would say it's like one and a half hour maybe we can do it one hour also but when we do longer it's better it's going always the longer cooking giving you more tenderness if you do it slow temperature slow temperature if you do high temperature, then you will ruin everything. So in high temperature, you have to do long, uh, slower, uh, shorter cooking. But here, at the moment, looks all good because it's around 105 degrees Celsius. We will put them together to one grill because we would like to start to do other stuff in other grill. So this meat is all, I would say, ready, but it needs to be more tenderness. It's uh, 99 degrees core temperature, so it's cooking from like 10 o'clock morning very slowly, 120 degrees Celsius until the core temperature or that. When you arrived here, then somebody saw that I was wrapping this with foil. So I wrapped this with foil maybe, I don't know, half hour ago or 45 minutes. 
so now they are in the foil and they are getting more tender now. And uh, what we do now, we close this and then because here is the grill rack is a little bit dirty because uh, we were cooking this beef ribs here and uh, I just closed the vent because it was open and uh, it was open and the fire is coming from the bottom of the heat deflector and uh, and we put this and important we put the full pork lower and the beef upper because beef is always more sensitive and again I close the vents because during the opening and doing the fire is coming again because the deflectors are covered with the fat of course you can use the fat pan for example you can use some aluminium foil pan and fat is dropping to this this is all okay but I like this way because then it's coming a bit more smoke and the flavor and everything I would say is a bit better if you're using the fat pan then it's fat starting to burn a lot because it's all in the one place and it's I would say the smoke is going up a bit more dirty and everything so this way is better like we're doing now I drink all the time whatever it is I prefer beer but some by guys prefer some other drinks so. but anyway this way kata Okay. And I put this one also, but I do on another side. Meat straight in the sharp. So now we are seasoning it. This is my own barbecue rub. It's the orange barbecue rub. And this goes very well with the salmon. You just cover this with a, like a normal, not very thick, but not very thin layer. Something like this. And uh, same here. We do all of this. This is almost empty. We take a new one now. And uh, take a new one. And this have also this, how to say this, like an uh, insert or something. You can keep this always because when you're not using, you put it back again because this will keep uh, moisture away, you know. It will keep longer shelf life for this raw but just a little bit like this because this will make this uh, uh, seasoning uh, goes in quicker on top of this so now we're adding a little bit of olive oil this olive oil as I said is Claudia from Italy from Apulia and, uh, and the ingredients are 25% fresh olive uh, sorry fresh uh, lemon lemon juice. It's the fresh lemon juice and 75% uh, is olive, olive oil. So this is very fresh and good stuff. If you want to taste, uh, you can take a little sip uh, to the finger or something because I think we don't have this. We have disposable spools with us actually. So if anybody would like to try it. We have similar planks as well in my restaurant. Uh, we have two restaurants in Berlin, Kuhl and Herk, and we have a similar but smaller for one steak size. And we're using this for salmon. we naming it, we saying it is the plank salmon, and uh, we're using this for the cooking in the restaurant. But uh, in home, I always prefer cool salmon fillet because then it's more attractive. But uh, doing it by the steaks, it's more professional because then you will get even cooking because here the, this time, uh, this part is need a little less cooking than that one because it's thicker. But because usually in the Weber kettle, I'm not using this slow roller, yeah. so I'm more closer to the sharp one. But at the moment they are quite, quite in the, you know, the higher position. Can anybody give me one more plank of the salmon? So that's why I'm adding this one handful, uh, okay, I can do it, one handful of uh, chunks. These chunks what I was putting to the fire are peach. You know, the peach is the type of the food, uh, type of the wood which is uh, same like this plank. So this pla these chips are exactly the same like a plank. The same producer in Estonia is producing this from the same wood. It's the peach. I think in England it's peach. It's like similar like a oak, but it's more white. It's very strong wood and it's very good for the fish. The flavor 
uh, it's very good for the fish. And now I, you can see I was putting one handful of fish because it's quite dry and uh, it's already coming smoke because I was closing all the vents. This closing the vents means that you will creating the smoke. This is very good because you can light the charcoal. Uh, you just put the charcoal like a pyramid shape, put a little bit fire and then after 15 seconds it's everything is nice and it's glowing in one minute already, the charcoal. And also it's good if you forgot to take your toothbrush with you. You can put just five seconds and it's all clean and it's like a sanitizer. It's working very well. But now we are doing a little bit appearance for the chili popper. It's looking nice, it's looking so good actually already now. But just a little bit of fire lighter, the gas lighter, it gives to the chili popper perfect appearance very good this one is actually ready now i would say i am sure it's in the bottom is also very nice little more but this meat is still of course not ready it's uh, 26 degrees for temperature because the temperature is very low but we can check it properly but this is all nice, so we turn it and it goes very nice and brown in the other side as well. So you can see this side is perfect, it looks very nice. And you can see now, we're cleaning up the brew, we put this in and it's around 25 degrees Celsius core temperature. So it's not ready at all, it's very raw, but it still needs some time. Uh, because the chili poppers are ready and uh, you can see this is very nice and then you adding a few extra chunks and lots of smoke is coming again so this one is very good 45 minutes but now already i can see the charcoal is, is working the fire was coming again i close the lead and uh, the vent you can see the smoke is already starting to come because no oxygen and the smoke is coming. Slowly, slowly, but something coming. And the beef leaves are, are more sensitive, but at the same time, they need maybe maybe the same cooking time, but anyway, they need a bit more this tenderness. Because the pork belly, I know it's already very tender and nice. So I put beef leaves bottom and the belly on the top. So then beef leaves will get some heat from the belly and the will all together make it nice and tender so all covered with foil nice and safe and i cover the cool box with the lid and this goes now maybe one hour just the resting time <laughs> Kampoto provincija į Kambodžą. Iš ten ir kilęs jų pavadinimus. Kampoto papiroms it's quite good, it's quite good. You can eat the salmon in the row. Yeah, yeah, 45 is, is already good. Yeah, but, but you uh, can eat salmon row. Yeah, this one from here in the ticker box is 41. Before, let's check quickly our Iberica bomb. This one is 40 degrees Celsius. This one is 53 because it's smaller. And that's 59, so this is actually ready. Uh, they are all, it's have uh, to be around 58, 58 or up to 60, yeah, something like this. It's enough? Yeah, this is good. This is like 60, 60 degrees. But this one looks okay, but let's see. Yes. I think it's 53, so it needs a little bit more, not yeah. much. And this needs a little more, more. 60 is okay, yeah? Yeah, 60, 58, 60, but this is a pericopop. If you're doing a regular pop, then I would say it's like 65 up to 70, but to get all the, you know, the uh, government guys happy, then you have to do 72 because it's, then it's safe. We clean, clean the grill rack here, yeah? and now we're putting this lamb here, 
and we do this first touch, you know, because the rack is a little bit hot as well, just to make sure it doesn't stick much. And uh, like this, and we will see how much we have. I think we are going perfectly put the second floor, and now we close the lid. And for the beginning, we close the vent as well. Probably now ready. This one is good. Okay. Together, I put them side by side. Then the old one is giving some heat to the new one. So I do it this way. And now that. And now we don't want to lose this juice. Put this back here. And now we are covering this thing with oil. Uh, everybody can give oil. Yep. Not covering with this at all, but because it's very windy weather. So we don't want to lose this heat. So we're covering like this. We did it for Nice and juicy. You can see the juiciness. It's the really juicy. It's a it's the proper pork. It's the it's nice uh, pork from the Spain. And they slice a little slice. I take a little bite. Oh, mamma mia! It went dry. Fucking hell! That's so good. Everybody who would like lamb, please come here. One boon for everyone. And this lamb looks very good I think uh, 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 the kind of is that you're adding too much charcoal you need to have really quite a small amount this is quite good now so just a little bit charcoal picanha black pepper salt and a little bit of balsamic nera which is our hit for doing uh, uh, all kind of beef the dirty steak also we will do with, uh, with the same method Half hour because first we eat the poppy seed explosion, we eat the picanha, or all of this we need a little time, and after this we do this. But now when it's cooking, then I start to prepare, and now uh, show must go on. So Mindaugas will take it over. Thank you very much, my friend. That's your turn. And thank you for everything because you you make so many nice things, and you know, to say like always. I can't say anything more, but it's like always. So let's start to do this now. It needs a little resting, but I think we can start already because it's uh, it's a good picanha, nice medium rare, perfect, very good taste. Just one slice for everyone. Okay, ah, now it's working, good. So, first slices of beef picanha coming. Beef picanha have to be always. This is also Uruguay here, but this is a little bit better marbling, I would say. But this is also very nice, some of them are very good. Almost everything, so. The meat quality, this one, lo the local guy who bring it looks very nice because it's dry aged. I think in, in Lithuania also you definitely have some dry aged cabinets in some butchery shops and dry aged meat. Usually it's around 30% more expensive than the regular beef. So balsamic is a bit thick because uh, it's been, I don't know why, but sometimes it's very thick. But the thick is good because uh, much thicker it is, then it means it's more aged and uh, this balsamic is aged. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Tonight, exclusively for you, Barbecue Entertainment presents and invites you on a journey through time. Let's travel back 1.8 million years. It is believed that the prehistoric Homo erectus first tasted cooked meat after a potential prey was trapped and cooked during a forest fire. Unable to resist the smell of melting fat and roasting meat, they sank their teeth into it. It was so absolutely delicious. Some say that it was work which turned an ape into a human. But anthropologists have actually proven that cooking and eating meat contributed to the growth of the human brain. And we claim that it was this that turned an ape into a human. And here we are now, today, here and now, nearly two million years later, we are doing it again, cooking meat directly over the coals. Beef ribeye cooked straight on the charcoal. Let's go! This is the beef ribeye dirty steak and you can feel the taste of the charcoal and everything on it. So I would say that's the best way of cooking beef ever because it's really so delicious. This is just bloody delicious. So help yourself. We have some toothpicks as well, but uh, I prefer to you take with hands because it's not the corona time and we're all okay. So take and when we minute I will give out the second tray and I give special tasting 